Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Adriana and thank you so much for stopping by and giving my content a try. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from Trader Joe's, which is newly in our area and I don't really go there ever and it's been about 15 years since I've been. So let's see what I got, shall we? <laughs> So I'm gonna magically pull out these apples because they were in the bag, but I decided to just make it easier for this video. I have Fiji apples and Honeycrisp apples. I have four each. Look how stinky cute these little bags are. So these are what I got. I'm gonna be moving this stuff to the side. And then at the end of the video, I'm just gonna kind of do like a little slow video so you guys can see everything that I got. And then I'll tell you guys how much it all costs. So let's proceed. Now I got some things that are not super special like raspberries, it's produce, you know. Um, I don't even think these ones are, yes, they're actually organic. I did good at picking organic. Same thing, strawberries, nothing special about that, just strawberries, but these look really delicious. Um, some other produce I got was spinach. I'm going to make some really good muffins. And I'm going to show you guys some more food that I'm going to be making with this. So make sure you have subscribed. And if not already, get to it. Like, what are you waiting for? You're already into this video. So let's go. Carrots. And I got some sweet potatoes. Because I'm going to try to make some sweet potato tater tots for my daughter. Got to sneak in the fruit and the veggies for the picky eaters. So that is that now i'm going to move on to some less produce items but let me first move this stuff out of the way so you guys can see and like i said i will stack it in a way at the end of the video where you can see all the yummy stuff that i got hopefully that's not in the way but just try to ignore it if it is <laughs> next thing is is this turkey breast i'm going to introduce my daughter to like turkey sandwiches because she does peanut butter and jelly or just peanut butter so kind of broaden her taste buds a little bit and then i got this um, vanilla almond spicy chai smoothie i can't wait to try it it has a lot of calories but who's counting calories not me uh let's see and then i got some pizza sauce from trader joe's it's just like their average pizza sauce it looks really yummy i don't know if you guys can see the bottom of that but cannot wait to try that and speaking of saucy type items i got the trader joe's chunky salsa and I actually got some stuff to go with this. You'll see that very shortly. And last thing in this bag we have is a fruit and vegetable wash. Because we all know there's stuff on our fruits and vegetables. So it's important that we clean them off. So I got this wash. Super good, super inexpensive. And I can't to wait to show you guys how this actually works on the produce. All right, so moving right along, shall we? Next bag. So I have some rosemary been trying to find some really good rosemary but look how good that looks i mean there's so many things we can use with rosemary so i had to grab it and we have chia butter rolls i mean i can't wait to make a sandwich with these so definitely had a snack in these i don't know if you guys remember but wendy's used to make a chia butter sandwich and they discontinued them and my soul does not understand so i definitely had to snag me a bag of those and do you know what I was telling you about with the salsa? This is definitely a vibe and definitely a snack. Like the scoops, I cannot wait to try these because it looks so good. And guess what, y'all? They're organic. All right. I had to, I y'all know. If you know me, you know I had to hit them up with the K cups. These are a medium roast. Um, Arabica, is it Arabica coffee? I don't know. Arabic coffee? I don't know. I had to try it. K cups, cannot wait to try them. Kind of like the wrapping. These remind me of like cookies. So definitely had to hit them up with the K cup. And look how cute, guys. We're getting to that season where hot cocoa is like essential. And I got these. These are salted caramel hot cocoa stir spoons with marshmallows. These were 99 cents. So I had to get two. One for me and one for my boo. Ah! Okay. And heavy whipping cream. I did this because my husband loves to make stuff with sauces and cream. So I was like, well, I'll try heavy organic whipping cream. He's actually behind the camera looking at me like I'm crazy. But I'm hoping he's willing to try <laughs> the organic whipping cream. So that's one of those. And I got a small because if we don't like it, we didn't waste. Except I forgot I got two. So that's what that is. Um, And now I'm 5'3". I'm darn near jumping in the bag so this isn't a food item but this is their liquid dish soap lavender tea tree scent 
and I am super excited to, to try it. Y'all, I gotta take the thing off to smell it. Oh boy, let's see. It's definitely giving lemon. Um, sorry, <laughs> lavender. <laughs> lavender, lemon. Um, that does have a nice smell to it and it does bubble, so that's great. This was actually like $3.99. So definitely gonna try that out um, for sure. Moving right along. Um, this is the kale, cashew and basil pesto. This is vegan. I like pesto on my sandwiches. So I wanted to try that out. You can see how that looks. Really excited to try that out. Um, and I actually have been using these um, crescent rolls in general, but using the Pillsbury dough brand to make like pizzas and things like that for my daughter. So they have an organic brand. So I had to snag me some. I will try it probably with the pizza sauce, but yeah, I'm super excited to try those. These are still like the same price though as like the Pillsbury. So that was nice. And last couple things is just yogurt. Wait till y'all see what I'm gonna be making with these yogurts. You guys will be so excited. So these are their Greek yogurt, non-fat strawberry yogurt. I got three, which is probably enough for what I'm gonna be trying. And y'all, they had pumpkin, so y'all know how to do it with the pumpkin because I absolutely love pumpkin. So I got three of these. Also, I may add some, you know, pumpkin. Um, what do you got? Like, what do you call it? Pumpkin sprinkles on them, or I may do some cinnamon and make it like a whole pumpkin treat. So this ex this basically ends the haul. So I'm going to show you guys another clip with everything lined up so you can see what I got. And as promised, I'm going to tell you how much I spent. $85.57 um, and of course the only two non-food items were my dish soap and the pesticide cleaner for my fruits and vegetables. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. This will not be my first, this isn't my first one and this will not be my last one. So if you like this type of content, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel and if you feel like showing me some love, I appreciate that in the comments. Alright guys, until next time, see ya!